Lord, God of my salvation, I cry out before you day and night. May my prayer reach your presence. Listen to my cry. For I've had enough troubles, and my life is near Sheol. I am counted among those going down to the pit. I am like a man without strength, abandoned among the dead. I am like the slain lying in the grave, whom you no longer remember, and who are cut off from your care. You have put me in the lowest part of the pit, in the darkest places, in the depths, your wrath weighs heavily on me. You have overwhelmed me with all your waves, Selah. You have distanced my friends from me. You have made me repulsive to them. I am shut in and cannot go out. My eyes are worn out from crying. Lord, I cry out to you all day long. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do departed spirits rise up to praise you, Selah? Will your faithful love be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in Abaddon? Will your wonders be known in the darkness or your righteousness in the land of oblivion? But I call to you for help, Lord. In the morning my prayer meets you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death. I suffer your horrors. I am desperate. Your wrath sweeps over me. Your terror destroys me. They surround me like water all day long. They close in on me from every side. You have distanced loved one and neighbor from me. Darkness is my only friend. It's Psalm 88. It's a heart-stricken, grief-filled voice crying out to God who feels lost, who feels isolated, who feels alone. Something I can relate to, something I feel like we all can relate to at different points in our lives. And the Word of God is right there to comfort and to know that whenever we do feel like we're in the pit, if you cry out to Jesus, he reaches his hand. The more we push away, maybe the longer it takes, but he's always there. You just have to cry out and humble yourself before the Lord. I pray this finds you well. God bless. See you tomorrow.